We are the Hooli Hoolies. And who are you? My name is Blinky. Blinky Bill. Trust us, uh, we're bananas. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. I declare Noddy the champion of the sports day. <laughs> Hooray, well done, Noddy. We have to trick Alfred. Are you talking about me? No, Alfred. No. Look a right mess, but here's your catalogue, Elf. I'm glad the little girl wrote to us, whispered Thomas to Percy. Isn't it wonderful what happiness a letter can bring? I think the ball is my favourite toy, thought Spot. Everyone. Bringing you the best in children's video. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Something new, I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. Caillou, Caillou, I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Story time. Kids. This all happened when Caillou was just three years old. Today's story is called Caillou is Afraid in the Dark. Good night, Caillou. Have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <gasps> Bed bugs. Oh. Mommy! Caillou, what's wrong? Bugs, Mommy. There, all gone. They were just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not afraid of monsters. <laughs> It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. Yes, but there was a flying monster and a scratchy monster. It's in my room. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou.
The wind was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. <sighs> I hope there won't be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou. Caillou. Story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Friends. Caillou was feeling very sorry for himself. Whatever's the matter, Caillou? You don't look very happy. I've got nobody to play with. Don't you have any friends? No, I don't. At that moment, Caillou really thought he didn't have any friends, and that made him feel even more sad and lonely. I'm sure you must have some friends. Let's see if we can think of one. What about that nice girl, Clementine? Clementine loves candies. Can I... Nope. Okay. Want some? Oh, no! I'm putting the yellow ones in a row. Caillou, that candy was on the floor. It's not going in your mouth. Wait a minute. I have some more here. They're clean. Well, that's one friend. Do you have any others? I don't think so. Let's see now. What about that boy, Leo? <laughs> Leo's funny. <laughs> What's so funny, you two? Nothing, Mommy. <laughs> well, now, that's two friends. Do you have any others? No. Really? What about Gilbert? Isn't he your friend? Yay! Caillou had forgotten about Gilbert. Of course Gilbert was his friend. Yay, Gilbert, you're my friend. Caillou was much happier now. He started out thinking he didn't have any friends. But now he knew he had three. And now that he knew he had three friends, Caillou began to think about whether he had any more. 
Rosie's my sister, Grandma, but she's my friend, too. That's right. Caillou? Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Hinkle. And Mr. Hinkle's my friend, too. I have lots of friends, don't I, Grandma? Yes, you do. Look who's coming. It's Mommy and Daddy. Mommy, Daddy, you're my friends, and so's Rosie and Gilbert and Mr. Hinkle and Clementine and Leo. Are those all your friends? Yes. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yes. And you're my friend, too, Grandma. <laughs> Be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. This will make you feel better. It's story time. When Caillou was three, he got a really bad earache. And today's story is called Caillou Visits the Doctor. I don't want to see the doctor, Mommy. Why not, Caillou? The doctor hurt me. You're much better now. It won't hurt this time. The doctor's ready for you now, Caillou. Now come along, Caillou. The doctor's nice. I don't like her. My dinosaur's going to bite the doctor. Caillou? Hello, Caillou. How nice to see you again. Now, how's that ear coming along? Let's take a look. No! My dinosaur is going to bite you. Oh, so your dinosaur isn't happy to see me. Hmm. Do you think he'd mind if I looked in your ear? Last time Caillou was at the doctor's, his ear hurt him a lot. So this is what's bothering you. You put that in my ear, you hurt me. Would you like to look through it, Caillou? It's really interesting. Okay. Well, can I look in your ear now? You're much better and it won't hurt like last time. Okay. I'm very pleased. You'll be all better in a day or two. Oh, no. He's not going to bite me, is he? Ah, I see. You want me to check the dinosaur's ear. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I think you must have been giving him the right medicine, Dr. Caillou. 
Well done, Dr. Caillou. Your dinosaur's all better now. When Dr. Caillou got home, he couldn't wait to find someone with an earache. It's funny in your ears, Gilbert. <laughs> I want to look in your ear. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. to like this story. <laughs> Excuse me. Now let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Big Brother Caillou. It all happened back when Caillou was a very little boy, about two and a half years old. Baby sister coming, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. I'm going to the hospital today. Grandma will look after you. A few days later, Caillou was very excited because he was going to meet Rosie for the very first time. Mommy here, Daddy here. We're home. All three of us. Say hello to your new sister, Caillou. This is Rosie. Caillou wasn't sure if he liked Rosie. Oh, she's just beautiful. She's absolutely adorable. Isn't she gorgeous? She's my special girl. <coughs> Rosie wasn't very happy, and neither was Caillou. Nobody was paying attention to him. He thought they only cared about Rosie. Caillou was so unhappy. He didn't even like his doll anymore. Would you like to rock the baby, Caillou? No! Caillou didn't know if he liked Rosie very much. Okay, maybe later. He wasn't happy to see him pinching Rosie. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. 
It's not easy being a big brother, is it? But now that you are a big brother, you can protect Rosie, since she's so small. Say, would you like to help me? I can't do this by myself. Caillou, would you pass me the diaper, please? feeling a bit left out of things too, have you, Gilbert? All changed? Yes, I helped Daddy. Would you like to hold her, Caillou? Yes, please, Mommy. Watch her head. <coughs> what is it, Caillou? Rosie smells good. happened when Caillou was only three, and Rosie was just a baby. Today's story is called, Caillou Goes Shopping. Caillou, time to get up. It's snowing outside, look. Yay! I want to make a snowman. <laughs> Let's get you dressed first. Now, where are your sweaters? But I want to wear these. <laughs> If you wear shorts outside, you'll feel as cold as a snowman. There's no more cereal. We'll get some when we go shopping. And we need some eggs, too, because I'm making a special surprise cake. Special surprise cake? Yay! Caillou and Rosie <laughs> always liked Mommy's Yay! special surprise cakes. But they never knew exactly what the surprise would be. store. Put on your coat and boots. But, Mommy, I want to play with my dinosaur. You can play with him later. Now, come on. We're waiting for you. Caillou liked to go shopping, but he always took a long time to get ready because he liked playing, too. Caillou, get in the car, please. Are we going to make a snowman? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, we are. Yay! But right now, we have to get going. Mommy, I want to ride like Rosie. <sighs> okay, but let's get going, or there won't be time to make that snowman. I want these. Caillou, we're having a special surprise cake, remember? So we don't need cookies, too, okay? What is the special surprise cake? If I tell you, I'll spoil the surprise. Now, when we get to the checkout, I want you to look after Rosie while I take care of the groceries. All Caillou could think about were those cookies, but he forgot exactly where he'd seen them. Before he knew it, he was all alone, 
lost and feeling afraid. Mommy! Mommy! Where are you? Mommy! Hi, you! What happened? No, Caillou, you did. But I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Caillou was still feeling upset, but he was very happy to see his mommy and Rosie again. I didn't like it when I was lost, Mommy. I didn't like it either, sweetie. So let's make sure you don't get lost again. Now, let's finish making that special surprise cake. But I wanted to make a snowman. We are going to make a snowman. Only we're going to make him right here in the kitchen. The special surprise cake! Yay! Caillou and Rosie were absolutely right. They had guessed what Mommy's surprise was going to be. Mommy, look! He's really a snowman! Grr, then he must be cold. Let's give him a scarf. <laughs> was three. Today's story is called Caillou in the Bathtub. No! Caillou, it's time for your bath. I'm serious, Caillou. I'm not going to play games with you. Caillou didn't want a bath. Where is he? I wonder where that boy can be. Uh. Where's Caillou? Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. Come on, Caillou. It's bath time. I don't want to take a bath. It's too hot, Mommy. Okay. It's too cold, Mommy. Oof. And where do you think you're going, young man? I'm going to play. You can play later. It's bath time now. You have to keep clean. I don't want to be clean. No! Clean's no fun. Let's add some bubble bath. No. It certainly couldn't hurt. What do you say to some funny bubbles, Caillou? No. Oh. Give me your hand. Doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Caillou wanted to have his ducky. And he remembered he'd left him in Rosie's room. Oh, no, not again. Caillou, come back here. My ducky! Ducky makes bubbles. La 
lots of bubbles. Big bubbles. Maybe this can help you make more. Caillou had discovered that bath time could also be playtime. He discovered how to make bubbles. Look at me. I can make lots of bubbles. Hey, where's Caillou? Here I am. It's me. Where's my ducky? Don't worry, ducky. I'll save you. discovered that bath time could be splash time. Okay, Caillou, time to get dried off. I don't want to. I want to play in the bath. Good. Then you'll want to play in the bath tomorrow, too. Yes, me and Ducky and a lot of bubbles. And that's how Caillou got to love bath time. <laughs> You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Laundry finished. Time for a treat, kids. It's story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Ah, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Gets Dressed. Laundry day was a very busy day in Caillou's house. And Caillou was, well, Caillou was busy helping out. Where's the door? Whoa! Ugh. I can't play with you now, Gilbert. Whoa. Look what I brought, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. You're getting to be a big boy. Caillou was very proud to help out. It was a good feeling. What? Hey, Mommy! Look at me! Oh! Ow. Caillou, maybe you better run along now. Caillou thought if he was big enough to help Mommy do the laundry, he was big enough to get dressed by himself. There was only one problem. He brought all his clothes downstairs, so he had nothing to wear. Uh, no! Caillou! Shh! You'll wake Rosie. Why are you in your underpants? I don't have any clothes. Hmm. That can't be right. You have tons of clothes. Goodness! You're right! Hmm. I know. We can play a game. You can dress up. I can't wear grown-up clothes, Daddy. Why can't you? I'm too little. We'll see about that. Aha! Here we are.
They fit great. <laughs> if you'd be so kind as to try this on, sir. <laughs> that tickles. Can I have a hat too? Let me see, let me see. Hang on, it needs something else. Hmm. Every inch a gentleman. I love my moustache, Daddy. Who says you're too small for grown-up clothes? Yay! <laughs> Caillou, look at you all dressed up. You're so handsome. I want a picture of my two men. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. story. Look at all those teddy bears. This story is called Caillou's Teddy Shirt. You sit here, Teddy. Here it comes, Teddy. his eyes. Rosie was wearing his very favorite shirt. <laughs> mommy! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? Rosie is wearing my teddy shirt. It's much too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie to wear. It's not too small for me. It's mine. I need this shirt, Rosie. Teddy shirt? I'll get you your nice mousy shirt, Rosie, okay? See? It still fits me. It's perfect. Okay. Caillou. His tummy was itchy from the carpet. And his shirt just wouldn't stay tucked in. Maybe it was too small for him. But then Caillou got an idea. Caillou thought he might be able to tape his shirt. 
Yucky tape. You stay. Caillou was very sad. He knew that his teddy shirt didn't fit him anymore, but he didn't want to give it up. Caillou? There's you wearing your teddy shirt. You look so cute. You were too. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. I'm sorry I didn't ask you before I gave it to Rosie. I forgot how much you used to like it. Caillou still liked it. But he knew he was bigger now, and it didn't fit him anymore. Maybe we could put it away in a special place to keep forever. I'm going to give it to Teddy! Good idea. Teddy, you look beautiful in your new shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>